I just wanted to show you some more of my water storage. And right now I'm working on one shelf at a time. I'm going to empty these and refill them. Plus, I have 11. Eleven of those right there. So uh, inside the house, I've got about oh, probably 300 gallons, 270, 280, that neighborhood. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I just think that if you don't have water stored, there may be a time where you're really going to regret not having done that. It's uh, really simple to save or to have your friends save water bottles. Liar. And uh, rinse them out, fill them up with water. So uh, here's all I do. I just, uh, for, before I do anything, I rinse, the, I rinse them off because they've all got dust around this and I don't want to get that in the bottle. So I rinse them all off. And then I uncap them, drain them all, refill them, put them away. Tomorrow I'll do another shelf. And eventually I'll work my way over to the uh, seven gallon containers. And oh, 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 looky here. Now I'm going to move this in the light. I got me a Coleman stove. Put an ad on Craigslist. They wanted 15. I offered them 10. They took 12. Brand new. Never been used. I am gonna first. I'm gonna bake a cake, and then I'm gonna try to make a meatloaf. And uh, I'm gonna do that over the rocket stove. Uh, I still gotta cut that piece of metal to go between this and the flame. Anyway, let me get back to. Uh, back to the water. I don't know if some of my newer subscribers may not know this because the, the video is so far back in my feed, but uh, that water well, I, dr I drilled that myself by hand and what I used was a fence post auger. And uh, I c I've gone out here in the middle of August and I, I can pump good clean drinkable water I only went down 20 foot or maybe it was 18 I can't remember but I've only run out of water one time and that was in the worst of the drought two years ago so if you live in my area uh, I live in north west Louisiana you could drill your own well very easily I did that by myself and uh, you know uh, I'm a fat guy <laughs> And uh, I'm 55. And if I can do it, you can do it. I mean, if you're able to do it in your area, uh, I don't know where where the possibility of drilling your own well would end, you know, as far as regionally, because I would think Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Uh, I know when you get north, you start running into rocks. That just doesn't happen here. I would think from, uh, like, Dallas area you know over to uh, Savannah Georgia and on down into the south I would think this would be uh, easily done because our water tables are higher uh, higher high enough to access by hand uh, anyway if you're interested you can find that video way back yonder a few years ago and uh, anyway I'm, I'm not going to talk about water anymore I just feel the need to encourage you and urge you to uh, do what you can about becoming water self-sufficient or at least storing some water to get you through a time when there may not be uh, when you may not have access to city water maybe for a long time okay I'm done let me get to get to work on that water
halfway done. <clears throat> if my water wasn't chlorinated, I'd probably put oh, two drops of bleach in each one of these. All right, we're done with that shelf. Tomorrow I'll do another shelf. And uh, some folks might think this is a bit wasteful, but uh, you know, it's uh, probably five dollars worth of water. And uh, my water bill is about 40 bucks a month, water, sewage. And that's for 8,000 gallons, and I never use 8,000 gallons. So I'm just getting my money's worth. And uh, for a few dollars, it's worth my peace of mind for a year uh, I haven't stored water. Alright, that's all on water. Thanks for watching.